players, coaches, club officials, members of the media, partners of the Betfred Super League season, welcome to the launch of the 2019 Betfred Super League season. Now, reflecting on season 2018 certainly whets the appetite for what may lie ahead this year. One week until we kick off at the Totally Wicked Stadium, 37 weeks until we're back here at the Theatre of Dreams to crown the Super League 24 champions. That's 261 days, 180 games from a re-energized and fresh competition. Well, what can we expect? Well, who better to tell us all about the new beginnings and what 2019 may hold for the game of Rugby League? Please put your hands together, fresh from its first pre-season, the Chief Executive of Super League, Mr. Robert Elston. Thank you, Brian, and I should start by echoing Brian's welcome to the 2019 Betfred Super League season launch. In a sport that doesn't do hyperbole particularly, particularly well, I'm going to give it a go. Welcome to the most exciting, the most competitive, most unpredictable Super League ever. We've got some amazing new players, we've got a new team, welcome London Broncos. We've got three new fantastic venues to visit, we've got some new rules and laws, and quite rightly I think we can claim some new beginnings. For me personally, however, no new beginnings. In August this year, I celebrate the 50th anniversary of my first ever game and a family lineage that saw my grandfather at the 1935 Cup final. Him and my dad there in 69, me at a semi final with the pair of them in 1970, and me with my three kids at grand final 2017. And over the course of that journey, like so many people in the room, you immerse yourself in our sport, you understand it, you appreciate it, you become passionate about it. You argue, you defend, you explain it, and ultimately you begin to recruit. And I'm now in the fortunate position of being paid to recruit to tell the story of Super League, our heritage, the rebellious soul that runs through all our DNA, the great clubs that we have that sit proudly at the focal point of proud communities, the game itself, its speed, its relentlessness, its intensity, and of course our players and their athleticism, their, spill, sk their skills, their speed, their courage, their mental and physical toughness and their personal qualities, their relatability and likability. In amongst all that, perhaps a little bit of a health warning for the sport, a sport that needs to perhaps listen more and preach less, a sport that needs to look outwards and not inwards. A sport where all of us need to unite to deliver the growth for Super League that we need and we deserve. Unite to project a sport that's younger, more confident, more ambitious. So what's getting me really excited about Super League 2019? As I said, we have some really exciting new rules and laws to speed the game up, to dra add drama and excitement. Most of all, I think, to give a platform to our best players to really shine. We've got a fantastic opening round of fixtures and a real chance of some full houses. And then we have Kronk, Mitchell, Tedesco coming to the DW Stadium for the World Club Championship. We've got a brilliant Easter weekend. We've put a fixture list together that, think that gives us a realistic chance of breaking the Super League record aggregate attendance. And then we go to two world-famous iconic venues, the New Camp and Anfield. Indeed, we'll visit two of the world's most famous and most loved and most visited cities in Barcelona and Liverpool. Moving then into a playoff series, a new revised, extended, more exciting playoff series and culminating in 30-odd weeks' time, as Brian said, back here at Old Trafford. What, however, is giving me most excitement, the two things that I think are really making me excited about Super League 2019, well, I think you've seen the theme in our campaign around new beginnings, which is all about our players. And we have got a great group of players playing in Super League in 2019. New players... Existing players, emerging players, players that are going to get us on the edge of our seats. We've also, as, as I've said, I think got the most balanced competitive competition ever. The bookies have seven of our 12 teams at 11 to 1 or less to win the grand final. Before I hand back to Brian, could I just say um, a few thank yous. Firstly, to our coaches and players for supporting us today, not just today, but across the new beginnings campaign. Can I also thank the Super League clubs, the 12 clubs who have invested in those players and got behind me with this whole new New Beginnings theme, so thank you to them. To the City Talking, to Lee Hicken and his team who've delivered great creative work and we've seen some of that today. To my team at Super League who in such a short space of time have delivered so much. 
To Betfred, our proud, we are proud to have a title sponsor who invests so much into our sport. To Brian for hosting us and his colleagues at Sky Sports. To Neville Smith, I don't, Neville's not here today, but Neville, I think on Easter Friday, will produce his final ever Super League game. To our special guests, we have a world champion. We have an England captain and we have a Great Britain captain, and I can't wait to hear from them shortly. And to you, finally, the Rugby League media who cover and comment on our sport so passionately on such a consistent uh, and committed basis, we appreciate your support. Like me, I don't think you can wait for the start of the Betfred Super League 2019 season. So thank you very much. Thanks, Brian. Thank Yes, we inch closer to the start of the 2019 Betfred Super League season, and who better to hear from now than the head of media for the title sponsors Betfred. Please put your hands together for Mr. Mark Pearson. <laughs> Delighted to have you back again. Year three Brilliant. of what has been a mutually beneficial, extremely strong partnership. Um, there's a couple of people in here, uh, Mark and Steve from Betfred. We were keen to get involved in rugby league for a number of years, and when we got the option three years ago, we had no hesitation. There's been some changes, but uh, with the Super League so far, uh, we had some great meetings with Robert and his team, and uh, look, we're really, really happy. It's a great sponsorship. I mean, it's great to see so many people here. I mean, it's a packed press conference, isn't it? I think it's the most packed press conference since take that split in 19 1996 in Manchester. It's fantastic to see you all here. Really appreciate the press. We, one of the reasons we sponsor stuff is the coverage we get. We get fantastic coverage on Sky, really good coverage on the BBC with a Super League show, local radio, but it's the passion that you journalists cover this great sport with in the press, uh, on social media now. That's why we sponsor this uh, great tournament, and we're really, really looking forward to it, Brian. I think it's fair to say as well, your sponsorship activation is, is very much appreciated as well. You've lifted the profile and helped raise we, the profile. Look, we want to grow the game. Absolutely. We want to, you know, we want to work with grow the game, and that's why it's, it's so good to see so many uh, players and coaches who give up their time um, and you know, get themselves available for the press, not just today, but throughout the season. That's really, really important as a sponsor. Well, what about potentially it. growing the bank balances of some people in the room here today? Let's go and have a look at what, some myself? of the odds. Uh, I don't think you're allowed to do it, are you? Well, you probably can do. <laughs> Listen, let's talk about the odds for a Super League, the Super League Grand Final winner. Who do you pitch as favourites for this one? Uh, it's it's wide open. It's uh, four to one the field. It's joint favourites at the moment. It's Warrington and St Helens. There's been uh, quite a bit of money for uh, Warrington in the last couple of days as well, but it's absolutely wide open. So you, you've got Warrington at 4-1, to one, St. Helens at 4-1, to one, uh, Wigan are about 5-1, to one, Leeds and Castleford at 10-1, to one, and it's not it's the beginning of the season. I will upset anyone else by telling you their odds. Now, but, uh, really looking forward to it, Brian. Last year, we had a Wigan-Warrington grand final here at Old Trafford. You put that at 6-1 to one for a repeat in 2019. <laughs> Well, it could happen, but there's another 10 teams that don't want that to happen as well, isn't there? So uh, that's why the Super League season's great. By the way, the draw does still exist for betting purposes as well. So uh, just be careful, because obviously we've got the golden point this year. But uh, look, really looking forward to it, Brad. I see the Hull FC coach, Lee Radford, sitting on the front row here. You put them at 4-1 to one to beat Hull Kingston Rovers in all three matches in the regular season. Look, I don't upset <laughs> Danny and the rest of Hull KR. Come on, it's the beginning of the season. But look, there's all sorts of specials out there. And uh, look, we just want a great season. We had a, a great year last year with the great final. Well done to uh, Wigan. What a story that was. Let's hope we have loads of great stories this year. Looking around here, delighted to say we're joined by some of the stars of the Betfred Super League. Let's talk about the big award. We'll refer to it later on on today's proceedings. The Man of Steel Award, the Steve Prescott Man of Steel Award for 2019. One name went straight to the top of the betting. Uh, Blake Austin at the moment at eight to one, but uh, you know you're all quoted. If uh, have a big season, you're going to be up there, and I believe it's changing as well, isn't it? The uh, Man of Steel, how it's uh, uh, the accolade is achieved. So really looking forward to how we're going to do that. Yep, we have a very special guest to explain that all later on today. Mark, once again, thanks for a Betfred sponsorship no, of the you. Betfred Super League. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Please put your hands together for Mark Pearson, thank head you. of media of Betfred. Uh, thanks very much for attending. It's really appreciated. As has been mentioned, we have some of the stars of Super League in the room here today. I know you're desperate to hear from them. You will hear from them individually a little later on. Let's get them up on the stage, though, to start with. Let's have the captain of the reigning Super League champions, the Wigan Warriors, Mr. Sean O'Loughlin. Let's have a former teammate of his, now at the Catalan Dragons, Sam Tompkins. And has been mentioned, 
by Mark Pearson, man who's gone straight to the top of the betting for the Man of Steel Award, Warrington Wolves' new marquee signing, Blake Austin. <laughs> Welcome back, Old Trafford again. Cheers, good to be back. Will you be back again at the end of the year? Um, that's the plan, I think that's everyone's plan. Um, you set the start of the season off, you set yourself goals and uh, I think the grand final is always top of everyone's list. It's a, a great occasion, we got to experience it last year and um, we've had a good taste of it for a, a good few years now, so I think when you get that, that taste of it, you want more. There are magnificent stories running throughout this Super League season and we haven't even started yet. Your clubs is one of those. You're going to have a new coach, Sean Wayne has moved on, Adrian Lamb, former player, is now the head coach and some of your senior players have gone elsewhere, John Bateman down to the NRL. And this man beside you has gone to the Catalan Dragon. So it will be a somewhat changed Warriors team that have to defend their title. Yeah, definitely. We, um, we finished the season off on a massive high, but I think losing players like Sam, um, Joe Bateman, and a few of the other boys who have left as well as Werner, um, it, does, it does leave a bit of a void. But the way we've started the preseason, it's been, it's been fantastic. Lammy's come in with his, his thoughts and ideas on stuff, and he's, he's brought them in and he's implementing them well. And, not just the players we've signed in, like Zach and play, people like that, but some of the young lads, and the young lads being a year older, a year more physically developed, being pushing harder. We've had a taste of it last year, they want it more this year. All that kind of thing has, has added to the squad, and at the minute we're looking in good shape. There'll be an understandable focus on Zach Hardacre, and he's got some big boots to fill, Sam Tompkins. You've moved to the south of France, fresh challenge, exciting challenge, and a prospect, a realistic prospect of getting your team here come October. Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, a new start for me. Um, really exciting. I've enjoyed the first first couple of months um, amongst a new group. Um, you know, everybody's everybody's hungry. You know, now the the club's had a, a taste of success in, in winning the Challenge Cup last year. Um, I think it's just given everybody that drive to to get some more silverware. Do you get the sense, Sam, you're flying the flag not just for a club or indeed a region, but for a country, really? Yeah, hundred um, percent. You know, the the people of Catalonia are. Are very passionate about the, the rugby and, and as so are all the French. Um, you know that taking the, the Challenge Cup to France has, has given a huge boost. I probably underestimated how important it was before before going over to France. But um, you know once we're around, you know the locals and the sponsors and uh, you know partners of the club, it's you know it's pretty clear that it's a it's a huge deal and um, you know they deserve more silverware. One of the knock-on effects of that Wembley win, that Challenge Cup win, is that you will be playing this year. Fingers crossed, injury permitting, with the Catalan Dragons against your former club, the Wigan Warriors, at one of the world's iconic stadiums, the Camp Nou in Barcelona. Yeah. Um, if how, had, how does that feel? I mean, what's What's your thoughts about yeah, that? Very strange. If, if somebody had told me that, you know, 12 months ago, I wouldn't have uh, wouldn't have believed it. I've I've been to Barcelona on holiday and and, and done the tour of the stadium. It's um, it's it's unbelievable. So I think it's a it's a great opportunity for not only us and, and Wigan, but for Super League. You know, to have to have you know a uh, Super League on on such a such a grand stage and an iconic stadium you know around the world it's um, yeah so it's a great chance. The man beside you got his first taste of English rugby league club rugby league. You had a run out against the Witness Vikings Blake on on Sunday. You got a, a small sample of what atmosphere you may expect when Leeds run out on, against the with the Warrington Wolves on that first Saturday. Yeah, mate. We uh, we had a great turnout for Ryan Ryan Atkins' testimonial. Um, I think nearly six thousand fans and. Um, certainly felt like a lot more, so um, leads round one, we're hoping to get a full stadium and um, one thing that's been evident since the day I've got here, it's, you know, got people here are really passionate about rugby league and um, hopefully a full house for round one. There'll be huge expectation of not just your club but of you personally as well. It's a very successful club and have been very close to winning a Super League trophy on numerous occasions. You're viewed as, the, as a missing piece in the jigsaw, Blake. Are you aware of what's expected of you? Yeah, I mean, I'm coming over to be a, a part of the jigsaw, I suppose, not necessarily the missing piece. We've, we've got a great squad. It's, it's one thing that made me so excited to come to Warrington is, um, you know, we've got a really balanced squad. We've got a squad that's got an obvious plan for the future and, um, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to come over here to play my part. It's um, thanks to Betford for embarrassing me in front of the room. It's certainly um, no pressure now with the, the betting odds, but, um, look, I'm just here to enjoy my football and, and uh, as I said, be a, be a part of the team at, at Warrington. For a man who's a self-confessed rugby league nut, it must be exciting to be able to visit all these traditional rugby league grounds that you're going to see and traditional rugby league venues throughout the country. Yeah, that's right, mate. And, um, you know, where I come from, even sitting in a stadium like this is a, a pretty big thrill, I think. 
Um, people here underestimate, you know, the, the things they've got in this country. I think we're going to play at Anfield as well and, um, you know, that's certainly something I'll be ticking off my bucket list and, you know, little kid from Western Sydney, it's, it's, it's going to be a thrill to, to play at that stadium as well. We're delighted to have you over here. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for Blake Austin of the Warrington Wolves, Sam Tompkins of the Catalan Dragons, and captain of the reigning champions, the Wigan Warriors, Sean O'Loughlin. <laughs> Players need guidance on and off the field. Delighted to welcome to the podium now three coaches with a very strong link between them. From the Castleford Tigers, please put your hands together for Daryl Powell. From the Leeds Rhinos, their new coach and former player, Dave Ferner. And for the, Warrington, or the Wigan Warriors, I should say, their former player and current coach, Adrian Lamb. <laughs> There's a bit of a reunion here of sorts. Former teammates at the Wigan Warriors, former work colleagues at the Leeds Rhinos. Dave Ferner, welcome back. Welcome to Super League. Thanks, Paul. Delighted to be back. Big job ahead of you, the, the Leeds Rhinos. What's your, what's your initial thoughts? Uh, I think I've, I've mentioned it before, that just for me as a coach there, just get, get to know the players first, uh, get to know the squad. I've obviously had a good look at the squad there for the last six or seven weeks, so I think as a coach that's the most important thing. You've spent big as well this year in, in an effort to, to regain your place at the top of the table that the Leeds Rhinos have held for so long. How have the marquee signings and, and the big names you brought in settled in? Uh, I think pretty good. Um, obviously I, the, I was fortunate enough to work with Tonga there, so I know... Uh, you know, obviously Tui, um, Conrad, you know, I knew that, I think the big thing for marquee players is, is to make a difference to a squad. I think uh, those two, and obviously Trent Merrin I've worked with uh, with before. Um, so I've worked with, uh, obviously, those three those three players, and I know what they can bring to a squad. So that's, that's um, um, you know, that's good for, for, for Leeds. Uh, they've had a taste. Uh, we've obviously had a, the Boxing Day game against Wakefield, and then obviously Castleford there. Um, where Trent and uh, Connie got an, an opportunity there to play in front of their home, uh, obviously the home crowd and the Leeds fans. So I'm excited for them, but I'm um, also excited for the uh, the squad I've got. And as I said before, uh, I mentioned it's just 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 to get to know some of those players, uh, which I've obviously seen play, but um, just to get to know them personally and just to see what they've got. You have a chance to become only the second man to win a grand final and coach the same team to a grand final win. Adrian Lamb. It's a man who played beside Dave Ferner in a grand final. You've got some pretty big boots to fill as well. You're walking into the reigning champions. A couple of changes. Obviously, your coach has gone. A couple of player changes. How excited are you about the season ahead? Yeah, very excited. Um, it is a tough gig to... to